Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I got these curls for my blowout. They're perfect if you don't want to use too much heat on your hair. Usually I would straighten my hair and then curl it but these were done on blow dried hair which makes them nice and fluffy. So if you'd like to see how I got these curls just keep watching. So I'm starting off with hair that's been washed and braided. I washed my hair how I usually wash my hair. I have my wash day routines on my channel if you want to go check that out. And I just put some leave-in conditioner and braided it up. This is what I usually do if I'm feeling too lazy to style my hair. And I usually leave it in as long as I can, especially if I'm not going anywhere. This is about five days afterwards. And as you can see, it's still moisturized. It's not dry at all. So I'm sectioning my hair off into four parts to prep for the blow drying and I'm going to be using my Revlon One Step Blow Dryer today. Before I go into blow dry, I spray some heat protectant first. My ends do look a bit dry because I'm due a trim. And then I'm putting some of this Lotta Body Curling Milk in my hair. Just a little bit because I don't want to burn my hair when I'm blow drying it. I don't really recommend putting oils or a heavy cream in your hair before blow drying. But I don't ever use my blow dryer on a high level, so I'm not really concerned with damaging my hair with blow drying. So yeah, I just blow dry my hair until it's nice and smooth. As I said, this blow dryer is easy to use and it's more gentle on the hair than the comb attachments. I think it's £30 in Aldi at the moment. So yeah, I do recommend it for beginners, but if you're more advanced then you probably are better off using the paddle brush and the hair dryer separately to get the smoothest results. And yes, my hair is at waist length. Shout out to this girl who said that my hair isn't, this is for you. <laughs> so yeah, I just continue to do that throughout my whole head. And once I'm finished blow drying the section, I just put my hair up into the clip again. So I'm blow drying from the tips to the roots. And that's one thing I don't like about this blow dry is that it doesn't get close to the roots. But honestly, it has more pros than cons. So not getting to the roots and the fact that the cool shot is not exactly a cool shot is the only cons I'll say I'll have about this hair dryer. I do love my natural curls, but a switch up is definitely needed sometimes. I'm really enjoying my natural hair at the moment. And that's what I hope to show through my channel that you can actually really enjoy your natural hair. And now I'm using my Tresemme waving wand. It's 22 pounds on Amazon, by the way. And I'm making sure to wear the gloves so I don't burn my hands. And I'm using this holding spray by ORS that I was gifted. And I'm spraying a little bit of that into each section. I comb out the section with my paddle brush after I spray the spray. And then I take a smaller section of hair and begin to curl my hair away from my face. So not inward towards my face. You'll see what I mean when I do this front section of my hair. And yeah, so I curl my hair and I hold it there for about 10 seconds. So with the back curls, I like to curl my hair halfway up the shaft just so that it hangs a bit lower in the back. And as I get higher in the section, I curl my hair closer to the root. I usually hold the curl up when I remove the wand to allow the hair to cool and set, but I don't know a wild one this time. <laughs> I'm using the holding spray first instead of after because I get a better result doing it this way. And most hairsprays can be really drying, so I find that if I spray my hair after I've done my hair, my hair just tends to get really dry really quickly. And yeah, I just spray a little bit of that hairspray in my hair beforehand. So I'm doing the front section now, and can you see what I mean by curling away from my face? So I put the curling one behind my hair instead of in front, and this just helps to direct the hair backwards instead of forwards, and it just looks much cuter this way. And I swear, curling my hair gives me the most anxiety. I think it's way scarier than straightening your hair because you actually hold that direct heat on your hair for a long time instead of like doing like a one pass. And so that's why I don't use the highest heat on curling irons at all. Every time I do my hair, I just think back of that video where the girl's curling her hair and her hair literally just melts off into the curling iron. Oh, that gives me so much anxiety. <laughs> and that's literally what's going on in my head right now. <laughs> I like to wear my hair in a side part just because I feel like the middle part doesn't do me any justice. So I go ahead and part my hair off. And for the very front sections, I'm going to be smoothing the wand on my hairline just so that the roots are not frizzy. And then I curl as normal. 
and I used to just curl all the sections and then part it off but then the curls will get frizzy if I manipulate them too much so I just part it off from before and can you see that I'm ever so slightly pulling the wand upwards near the roots that's just to create some volume at the top of my hair my hair does tend to lay more flat on top which is so annoying but doing this helps with that and then I proceed to do the same thing on the other sides I used to be tempted to curl all the hair in the same direction so I mean curling this side towards my face but it just looks so silly so I just stuck to doing it this way yeah so I just continue to curl the rest of my hair Sometimes I lose the grip on the hair when I'm curling, so when this happens I just smooth the hair around on the wand. Be careful not to burn your hand because the heat can still get through the glove if you hold it for too long. And here I'm just trying to smooth out the roots a bit more. And then I'm taking this ORS Nourishing Sheen Spray and I'm spraying that all over my hair to add a little bit more shine. And then I just move my curls down between my hands to spread that nourishing spray all over my hair. And then I'm taking this ORS edge control to do my edges as well to get more polished look. And then I'm spraying more holding spray on them flyaways and combing them down to keep them in place. And then I'm taking my edges scarf to set the edges so they don't move. Five minutes will do. And here's the finished look. My gosh, just look at those big fluffy curls. And I'm just sitting here doing this voiceover of my hair looking a hot mess. I'm really pleased with the way it came out. I'm really loving the fact that curls are big and fluffy and it just gives my hair so much volume. I do maintain the curls by putting them up in two buns at night. And these didn't last as long as the one curls that I usually do when my hair is straightened. The humidity just gets to it and it just fluffs up. But yes, thank you for watching and if you guys want to see any more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe. I'm now uploading content every Tuesday and Sundays. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!